What's up you guys? Thank you for clicking on this video. So as you can tell by the title, I will be talking about my personal top 5 Titan scaled in size characters from previous cartoons that would work perfectly in the modern day generations line as a Titan class scaled figure. So, without further ado, let's get right on down to this list. Now, this list is in no particular order. I'm just talking about random five figures that I just thought of today that I would love to see at Titan class one day. So, let's start off with Cybertron 2005 Menasaur. And just a disclaimer for all you gi wooners out there that may be watching this video. There's not a lot of G1 on this list. There's one G1 character... So if you're upset about that, whatever, click off the video. But there honestly really isn't that many Titan class G1 characters they could do nowadays. So that's just the fact of the matter. That's why that's part of the reason why there's not a lot of G1 on this list. Now, this is a crazy design. The original one we got was uh, I think it was I forgot what the name for the scale in between Voyager and leader class was called back then. But it was in between those two size classes, obviously way too small for the character. And since we got Cybertron Titan Metroplex a couple years ago, it would only be right to sort of get his arch nemesis in the show, which would be Menasaur. And just the design itself would be so cool to see in that big scale, the driller arms in the in the plow weird construction vehicle alt mode just imagine seeing that thing big as hell on your desk it would be so cool like with how much i love metroplex i definitely do feel like menasaur would be just as good or even better uh i, w I wouldn't say he would come with his mini con since metroplex didn't it sucks but I guess that's just what Hasbro is about right now. We don't know when we're going to get the rest of the Minicons. I don't know what Hasbro's planning, if we're going to get a box set one day later on down the line. It's kind of weird, but a Titan-class Menasaur definitely seems like an obvious choice with us getting his arch enemy Metroplex a few short years ago. So for number four, Energon Omega Supreme. Now, some people could argue that he should be more so commander class, but these days he would be way too small for a commander, and he definitely would not have all of his features because he's kind of a complex character in terms of not really his transformation, but more so all the features that he has. I mean, he's a headmaster. He transforms into two separate... I can't remember if they're construction vehicles or trains or whatever, but he turns into two separate huge vehicles, especially if you're going by real life scale. Just based off of the vehicle scaling alone, he definitely should be Titan class. And if you look at the trend with Commander class, they're not getting any more complex. It seems like Siege Jetfire is the peak complexity, and when you compare it to the character of Omega Supreme from Energon, that's definitely not commander worthy. He would definitely have to be Titan class to fit the headmaster in there, all his different weapon gimmicks and the two vehicle modes, definitely. And having him as a modern day Titan would just be so cool. Like just imagine a big freaking Energon Omega Supreme on your desk. Ah, oh, it would be so great. Number three, now this is happy. I'm making some G1ers happy right now. We got Grandis. Yes, finally I have a G1 on here. Um, you know, he's a design that we saw in Animated. That's part of the reason why I want him, because he was one of those big characters in Animated that we were supposed to see in Season 4, but we never got because it was canceled, yada, 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 all that sad stuff. And seeing him... With the resurgence of animated in the Generations line the last couple years, it would just make sense kind of having that brand unity within the line. You would be able to put Grandis with all your other animated figures that we've gotten over the last couple years. So even from that perspective, it just makes sense. And plus, we're getting more Japanese G1 stuff next year with Star Convoy as a Titan class. So it makes even more sense. And it seems like Grandis is even more likely than ever with the combination of more Japanese G1, especially at Titan Class next year, and with us getting more animated updates as the years go on. Number two, we got my guy Energon Optimus, Fatimus Prime. I know some of y'all are already raging on this video and going down, down to the comments. He doesn't need to be Titan Class. He could work perfectly fine as a commander. My guys, 
Look at what commander class is these days. Do you really think they're going to be able to fit four combining vehicles onto one robot that also has a big huge trailer that is supposed to house all four vehicles that can combine into either an arm or a leg? The Scramble City feature alone is going to put this above commander class nowadays. It just can't be done. Yes, the original was a leader class, but that was over 20 years ago, and obviously times have changed, money is different, the value of everything has gone up, so definitely a Titan class, especially if they want to put him around the size of RAD 2001, Optimus Prime, and Ultra Magnus that they recently did as a HasLab, he definitely would be around that size, I think he would be a little bit bigger than Armada Optimus. And just look at Armada Optimus. As simple as he is, he didn't even come with his Minicon spark plug. So what makes you think we're going to get five vehicles as a commander class plus a big huge trailer to house four vehicles? It just doesn't make sense, guys. Look at what Hasbro has been making in recent years, and you'll notice that for Energon Optimus to be done right, he would obviously have to be a Titan class. A design like that as a Titan, oh my god, it would go so crazy. And the last pick I have here is Animated Omega Supreme. Now this is one that's been talked about with the design team for a couple years now. They've brought it up a couple times in recent interviews about them wanting to do a Titan class Animated Omega Supreme. So out of everybody on this list, it seems like he's the one that is the most likely to happen sooner rather than later. And it's just a no-brainer to begin with, with all the animated figures that they've been doing in Generations. And plus, we never even got an animated Omega Supreme back when the show came out. So it's definitely something that I feel like Hasbro would have their eyes set on. And come on, it's another A-list, big G1 character with a modernized design. It's something they definitely do at some point soon. But honestly, all of these seem like picks that they do. Energon Optimus, I mean, it's another $200 Optimus. Why wouldn't they? Grandis, of course, to go along with Star Convoy and all the other Japanese G1 stuff we're going to be getting. Omega Supreme, again, it's another Omega Supreme. They want to keep that trademark. It's an A-list G1 character. Of course, they'd want to do that at some point. And basically the same thing with Menasaur for the namesake and plus, obviously, to go along with us getting Metroplex a few years ago. If you follow the Generations line, they're all about giving the arch enemies of each other. You know, we got Leo Convoy and Nemesis Leo at the same time. Anytime they do an Optimus, the Megatron from that iteration isn't too far behind. Stuff like that. So um, that definitely makes sense with that considered. Yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. Let me know, let me know down in the comments below. What is your top five wants for Titan class? All my social medias are linked down below, including my email if you guys want to hit me up about business inquiries or if you want to message me about whatever, or if you want to commission a diorama from me because I make dioramas for people for their stop motions, photography, or your regular display shelves in your homes. You can either hit me up on any of my social media accounts or just email me and we can work out a deal. But yeah, guys, thank you for watching this video. Catch y'all in the next one. Bye!